Princess Diana died before she had the opportunity to be a grandmother for Prince Harry and Prince William's children, but one of her sons revealed why she may have not been the best grandmother. Prince William and Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge, have three young children Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. Prince Harry and his wife Meghan Markle had their first son Archie Harrison five months ago. William and Harry's mother died tragically in a car accident on August 31, 1997 and did not get to meet any of her four grandchildren. While many royal fans have wondered what the late Princess Diana would have been like as a grandmother to the royal brood, Prince William had his own response. According to the Duke of Cambridge, Diana would have been an absolute nightmare grandmother. Before Prince Louis's birth, William described how his mother would have been with his children. He said, she'd be a nightmare grandmother, an absolute nightmare. She'd love the children to bits, but she'd be an absolute nightmare. She'd come, probably at bath time, cause an amazing scene, bubbles everywhere, bath water all over the place, and then leave. William made the dramatic revelation in the documentary Diana, Our Mother, Her Life and Legacy, which was aired on ITV in July 2017. After the made the shocking statement, William joked and admitted that his mother would have made a lovely grandmother. In 1995, Diana, Princess of Wales gave a groundbreaking interview to the BBC's Panorama programme. The princess spoke frankly and unfavorably about royal family life and openly questioned Prince Charles' suitability to be the next king. The interview sent courtiers into a spin and prompted them to fear Diana may not be the best person to mentor her son William in royal ways. Diana's private secretary Patrick Jefferson said, It was no secret that towards the end of her life, reactionary elements in the establishment were questioning her desirability as a mentor in the art of kingship. Queen Elizabeth II was consequently urged to step in to guide the sound prince as to what was expected of him as an heir. Prince William was just 13 when he began regularly meeting with his grandmother Queen Elizabeth II. They would have lunch at Windsor Castle together when Prince William was a pupil at Eton. While William had always been aware of his duty as an heir, his grandmother stepped in to guide him in the wake of the sensational TV interview given by his mother, Princess Diana. The garden was allegedly one of Diana's preferred spots in Kensington Palace. There is also speculation that if Harry and Meghan have a daughter in the future, they would name her after Diana. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are currently on tour in South Africa with their four-month-old son Archie Harrison Mountbatten-Windsor. Harry visited Angola during the trip, just as Diana did in 1997, to visit the anti-land mine legacy left behind by the late Princess of Wales. The couple leave South Africa on October 2. Princess Diana was reportedly angry following the publication of a photo where Prince Charles was skiing with Princess William and Harry a few years after her divorce because she was still feeling very hurt towards the Duke of Cornwall. The photo which showed Charles playing around with his sons and their friends in an article which said he knows them well. Diana was reportedly jealous by the photo, according to former editor of the Sunday Mirror and Sunday Express Eve Pollard. She explained Diana was very maternal over Harry and William and would often be photographed with them at theme parks and on holidays. Speaking to Yahoo's Royal Box, Ems Pollard said, This is years and years later and by now she was I think certainly separated, maybe divorced, from Prince Charles. There was a lovely picture of him taking William and Harry skiing I think and they were accompanied by two other boys and in this picture I think Prince Charles pretended to strangle one of the boys. We wrote a piece saying he obviously knows his son's friends well, which means he obviously spends quite a bit of time with them, otherwise you wouldn't pretend to strangle a child, and I think she wasn't very pleased with that. She was the earth mother to these boys, you know. All those pictures of them at Alton Towers and all those pictures of them on holidays, on Necker, all sorts of places. And this was at the stage where I think she was still feeling very hurt and aggressive towards Charles. You know, there are stages in life and it happened then. Her comments come as youngest son, Harry, is paying tribute to his mother on his royal tour in Africa. The Duke of Sussex opened a hospital in Angola which is dedicated to Diana. 
Harry described the visit as a deeply personal one during a speech at the hospital. He said his mother would have been delighted to see how the hospital had developed since her visit. At the time Diana visited the hospital's ward was filled with victims of landmines. He said, it has been an honor to retrace my mother's steps today. I lost her 22 years ago but her memory is with me daily and her legacy lives on. Which is why I am so happy to name this center the Princess Diana Orthopedic Center. During the tour he stopped off at the rehabilitation room and observed the making of prosthetic limbs in the workshop. There, he met two members who were working at the center when Diana visited in 1997. He moved on to the pediatric unit where he spent a short while watching an encouragement Barnaby Jose Mar, 6, who was practicing walking with the help of a double bar along with his friend Francisco Xavier, 5, and carrying an union flag. Barnaby's mother later explained that he had been born with a paralysis and has had trouble holding himself up and controlling his limbs since he was of the age to learn to